All right, I'm down here in the frag room. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to clean up the area, clean up a lot of the uh, mixing station equipment, wires and so forth, and uh, build the frag rack and frag tank at the same time. So uh, this video is going to cover all of that detail. Welcome to Potomac Reef, my journey juggling our 180 gallon reef aquarium with family, work and travel. All right, in the stand, uh, we have my ALK container. Uh, this allows me to mix up a whole bunch of it uh, and then fill up my container for the tank uh, and then also some bucket storage. Uh, the ALK container has a pump inside of it, which uh, we'll show how we got it in there uh, so that the top, the top can close on it. Uh, and then here we have the frag system. We'll go into more detail on that. And right over here is our trusty mixing station. All right, so we've been drilling for about five minutes. We've got a nice hole going here. There's a groove already been ground into the glass. And we're gonna do this for a couple seconds more. Here we go. All right, so we're at the point now where we've got a deep enough groove that the drill bit holds nicely. Uh, we didn't need the orange guide anymore, so we took it off so we can kind of see what we're doing. And we're gently trying to work our way through the glass. So let's get back to it. We have a hole. So let's just clean it up and just make sure it's nice and clean. Alright, we have a clean hole. So here we have the frag tank set up. We've got an AI Prime light. We've got a Maxi Jet 1200. We're going to put a heater in here. Um, as we come over a little closer, let's see the bulkhead fitting. I'm going to set this up to drain down into the sink off to my left here so that when the water change in the main tank dumps the water into here, it'll push a corresponding amount of water from here down the drain. As you can see, we've got some debris in here. So some sort of mechanical filtration is gonna be required. So here's the drain line overflow. You can see it's a PVC elbow. I also switched to PVC downline here in the back, coming out of that for about two feet, and it runs down uh, to my 3 8 poly. I needed some space there for the air and the water to separate because the siphon uh, that was forming was not working sufficiently. Uh, to drain this, but now it works. The tank is fed from the auto water change system on my main tank. 
it sends about six liters of old salt water out of the main tank, which comes right into here. And then that's going to send another six liters of water change water from the frag tank right over here. And it will go down the drain line and over to my sink here where it will come out. So we have a number of frags in here already. We've got some nice bird's nest frags, some Montipara, I think, spagodis, and then this colt coral, which grows like a weed in the main tank, and I've cut it down and cable tied it to this rock. We'll see if it successfully grows onto it. The frag system is up and running. Um, hopefully the 10% water change that it does every day from the main tank will be sufficient to keep um, all of the chemical parameters uh, in good, good order without me having to dose anything down here. Uh, a little bit worried about auto top off. Uh, I don't really have that set up here and I think I'm going to evaporate some water. So I'm pretty sure salinity will go up a little bit every day. So I'm going to manually uh, keep track of that and adjust it and if I have to I'll go and I'll get some sort of an auto top off uh, unit for this. But the 13 year old he's pretty excited about this project he's going to be our frag uh, farmer and uh, he's going to get 50 percent of any proceeds that come out of this uh, so we're we're looking forward to doing this together. Thanks for watching click like if you enjoyed this please subscribe and happy reefing.